Today I'm sharing exactly how we make 36 protein waffles in less than an hour so that we have breakfast for every single day of the week. I've literally been living off these protein waffles. They are so good. And once they're done, all you do is pop them in the toaster every day and your breakfast is ready in seconds. Let's dive into it. My name's Autumn. I'm a certified clinical nutritionist with my master's nutrition human performance. And I have a special guest in today's video because he is the absolute master at making our protein waffles. And it's my husband, Trevor, the protein waffle master himself and Seiji and her little mohawk. <laughs> She's our sous chef today. So this protein waffle is something we've literally been having pretty much every morning for the past six months. It helped me immensely in achieving my weight loss goals postpartum without feeling hungry. The protein waffles per serving have 26 grams of complete protein, but Trevor has usually about four protein waffles, right? So serving is two, he has four, so he gets about, quick math, 52? Yep. 52 grams of protein from protein waffles for himself and for his goals. Okay, so let's dive into the recipe. So easy. So this recipe is really easy to batch. It just requires a few ingredients and just adding a lot of them to the bowl. There is a method to the madness on how you actually put it together. Trevor is the master, so I'll let him show. Let's just grab a bowl. Okay, so first things first, this recipe is going to make enough for 18 servings of protein waffles. So that's 36 protein waffles. So depending on how many protein waffles or how much protein you need, you'll have either 18 servings or less servings. Like I mentioned, Trevor eats about four or five protein waffles in one serving. So this for us makes about one week's worth of protein waffles. So the first step is Trevor's taking 18 eggs and he's gonna crack them all in the bowl. I haven't mastered the one-handed yet. So we do have backyard chickens, but they're kind of like just finishing up molting right now. So we have some eggs, as you can see right over there that are from our chickens. We have seven chickens, so we should have a lot more eggs than what we have right now. But we had to unfortunately buy some eggs. So we're finishing those up before we tap into the ones that our eggs or our, that our chickens just recently laid. Each serving of the protein waffles, or for every two protein waffles, there's going to be one egg. So that'll give some extra protein as well. Provide some choline, which is really important for our brain for our memory, also for liver detoxification. Oh, I can't get over Sage's mohawk. <laughs> she's like, she lost like her baby hair everywhere except for just on top of her head. So she's got like a little mohawk right now. <laughs> hey yo. As you can see, got a lot of eggs in there. So next he's gonna finish adding in like the liquid or mushy portion. So this is just some vanilla extract my mom actually made for us for Give Christmas. Give it a shake. Pretty cool. So you're just gonna add a splash. You honestly probably don't really need to add any vanilla extract to it. We just do just add a little extra hint, but you do get quite a lot of vanilla flavor from the vanilla protein powder. So next up, we've got the banana and this adds the substance as well as a hint of sweetness to it. Although if you are carb sensitive, you could use like pumpkin puree or you could use cottage cheese instead. So you could use a quarter cup of um, cottage cheese for every, or pumpkin puree for every half of a banana. So this recipe, since we're using 18 eggs, we're using nine bananas. So if you're using a pumpkin puree or cottage cheese, it'd be two and a quarter cups, I believe, if I did that quick math correctly. So he's gonna add that all straight in. Oh. What'd you do? The banana almost flew out. <laughs> and I can't really place any judgment because Trevor's one always does this so kindly. So I don't <laughs> so I don't have to make the protein waffles. But I probably would put the bananas in first and then mash it with fork. I think that would be a little easier. No, this is the pro tip. But this is this is Trevor's method. This is the pro tip. To mash it, you get a potato masher. That is good. So he's just giving it a mash and just making sure it's all mixed together. Give it a stir. And this is like the liquid component of the protein waffles. Waffles. Nom nom. Nom 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 nom. Okay, so next up we have we're adding in the protein powder. So this is my, see, so just like loving it. This is my zero sugar vanilla protein powder. So I specifically designed it to actually taste good in recipes. Felt like there's so many protein powders out there on the market that just tasted horrible. They either didn't mix well into recipes, they used low quality protein. So I developed my protein powder to taste amazing in recipes. It uses only monk fruit extract, which is naturally zero sugar. There's no erythritol, no sugar alcohols. It has zero grams of sugar and uses a whey protein isolate, which for myself, 
yourself, being a little bit lactose intolerant is really important because it's the lowest lactose type of whey protein, which if you guys wanna check it out, I'll have it linked, like it'll pop up right here somewhere, but you can also find it on my website at autumnlnutrition.shop. So like we mentioned, we're gonna be making 18 servings of the, the protein waffles, so that's 36 waffles. So we need how many total? So we 36 need, scoops. So we need 36 scoops. There's 28 scoops in this bag. So to make math easy, he's just gonna dump it all in. So we know that's 28. So that's eight more scoops that we need. Uno. Dos. Okay. So now he's just going to mix it all together. And we like making these into chocolate chip pancakes. So we're also going to be adding in the zero sugar chocolate chips. We add those in as we're making like each individual waffle. So we make sure we get like a nice distribution of it within each waffle. And then we have, as you can see, our waffle iron preheating. We got this one, I'll have it linked below um, from Amazon. So I'll have it linked in the description if you guys wanna check out the specific one. But it has four, I'll lift it so you can see. It has four spots, which makes it really nice. It expedites the whole process so you can make things, your waffles a lot faster. We also like that it has these little drip pans on the side so you don't waste any of the um, protein waffle mix. It just makes these like little protein waffle sticks, which is kind of nice. We'll just eat those like as we're making it, if it goes onto the side. So we got this little sprayer off of Amazon. I thought it'd like be a nice alternative to always having to buy those like other sprayers from Costco. Um, we fill it up with avocado oil, honestly, you're probably better off just getting the regular sprayers. This one just kind of shotguns it as you'll see, but we're just gonna use it. Okay, it's not too bad actually. It is a little bit more shotgunny. <laughs> All right, so this is Trev tip number two. Use a ladle to scoop your protein waffle mixture <laughs> and it makes the perfect amount. So watch, you just get that almost full right there. There we go. You definitely want to leave a little room on the edges, otherwise little room. you'll get a lot of spillover. Boom, shakalaka, there's number four. So now we're gonna add on the chocolate chips. He's putting on like, I don't know, what is it, like a tablespoon yeah. per waffle? And we're just going to close it up and wait till that turns green. And that tells us when the protein waffles are done. And we're gonna pop them out and Trevor just pulled out our um, cutting board, we leave them to cool on that before we store them. So you'll see as we continue on, we're gonna repeat this process until we run out of batter and then we're gonna let them cool. Okay, so it just turned green. So it's time to pull these guys out. Oh. See, look at that. Was, wow, that perfect. perfection. That literally just looks like the store-bought waffles. But so much better for you. So much more satisfying. High quality protein. It tastes really good. Yeah, so he's gonna repeat this process. This whole thing will be full, overflowing. I'm gonna take this little bit and eat it right now. Mmm, <laughs> so good. Probably takes a couple minutes for this to cook. So it really, this whole process is super fast. Yeah, it's pretty quick. quick the longest Sunday. part is that just cooling off because you don't wanna put it into the plastic bag in the freezer when it's hot. Yeah. So just wanna make sure that's properly cool. Yeah, let the waffles cool. Yep. Last batch. Going in. Woo! You can see the pile <laughs> that we've already made. Trevor has already made. I've had pretty much zero part in it. So once these are done, Trev and I are gonna go out for a walk to allow these to cool, and then we'll show you how we pack them up. This is like pretty much our Sunday ritual. Make all these waffles and pile them high. <laughs> wow, this is going to be a full week of really easy, high protein, delicious meals for us. Oh, see, this is what I was talking about with like that extra bit so that you don't waste any, and then I'm just going to eat it. <laughs> So I forgot to mention, put a towel down before you put your waffle iron on it. So any of that residual oil, or like over here, if you're spilling some egg, mm -hmm. it'll catch it. A yeah, lot easier on the cleanup. Yeah, because with waffle iron, like right here, the oil will escape and it'll just drip everywhere. So that is a good tip. We're going to let these cool for probably about, Really like, you just wanna make sure it's cool to touch. It's not steaming anymore. Like room temp is good. That way they don't steam up and get soggy in the freezer. So we're just gonna let these cool, go for a walk and then show you how we stack them. Okay, we just came back from our walk and we are just storing these now. So Trevor does a stack of, what is that, four? Four. Trev? 
He puts four in one of these larger Ziploc bags. We just rinse these out every time we're done with the Ziploc and reuse them. I've looked for like the silicone ones before, like I have one, let's see, this guy right there. But unfortunately it doesn't really fit that many. So right now we're still using these while I find better alternatives. So he fits four times four, 16 it's in each one. It, okay, it's a gallon Ziploc bag. And then we just pop this in the freezer exactly like this. And these don't get stuck together. They actually do really well in the Ziploc bag. Okay, our freezer is out of control. We really need to go through this thing. We just got a big order of meat and took over our entire freezer. <laughs> but anyway, so we stick it in um, these Ziploc bags and then they're just ready to go. And I can just pop out two or Trevor will pop out four or five. Sometimes if I'm more hungry, I'll use three, but it's super simple. And this makes it so our breakfast during the week is done in literally minutes. So now we have protein waffles for the entire week. Super fast, super easy. So if you don't have time during the week to make your breakfast or your first meal, highly recommend bulk making these just like this. So simple, but definitely like honestly, the key is having a solid protein powder that actually tastes good and zero sugar. So if you guys haven't tested out my zero sugar protein powder, make sure you grab it. I will have it linked down description below, but you can also find it at autumnlnutrition.shop. Now, if you want to see some other really fast and easy high protein meal ideas, you can check out this video next. Also, if you're new to my channel and you love the science backed information, make sure you subscribe right here. Come out with new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. All right guys, protein waffle cheers, <laughs> and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.